What is up guys, it is DMG here and today we're going to be looking at the road to the final Felipe Anderson. He's currently 84 overall and as you guys know he has recently transferred to Porto I believe on loan. Now he does have a good card on him, high medium work rates, 4 star, 4 star, so that's very good. His player traits, he has finesse shot, he's got flair which are very good. And then he has great pace, great dribbling as well, you don't really need to touch that. Now shooting wise, it is actually not as good as it seems. 79 shooting seems good on the surface for a winger, but he only really has 74 finishing. So you do need something to increase his finishing, whether it's a dead eye, uh, a finisher, or a hunter, depending on you know what it is. Personally, I've gone with dead eye because I think his dribbling should be good enough. His pace is decent enough. So again, it really just depends on how you want to use him. Probably his best position would be an outside attacking mid in a 4-2-3-1, but he is actually going to be a striker in a 3-5-2. I do think he'd also be pretty good at cam, uh, considering the fact that his passing is actually not the worst that I've seen. So again, he could be good at cam, but again, like I said, we are going to try him out at striker. Now, if you guys want to use him, uh, looking at his price, he is currently sitting at 46,000 on PlayStation, 49,000 Xbox, so anywhere between 45 to 50K. And this was around two hours after he was released. So uh, he might be hovering around that price as well, considering it is also a Sunday when player prices are very cheap. So again, 45 to 50K for this card. I mean, I, I'm still expecting the gameplay to be bad, but again, Division Rivals, the ping was in like the 70s. Neymar, Mbappe, the Sala, the Varane, the Mendy, the Van Dyke, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're just going to focus on Felipe Anderson. <laughs> I still, yeah, I legit, I cannot move. I can't do anything. Felipe Anderson, where do you sit? I have him on stay forward, but nothing too crazy. Not on getting behind, because I just want to see what his movement is. Okay, where is he sitting? He's still, he's still on side, so that's good. Felipe! Oh my god, what a save, Allison. I mean, that was a good shot. Again, he positioned himself well. I don't mind that, actually. That was pretty good. I can't really make a judgment on his dribbling at the moment. I, I'm liking his run making. His run making is actually quite good. He kind of sits in the right spot that I need him to be at. I think we're, we've actually been in a decent spot. I mean, Felipe Anderson got into a good position, and then Allison made a nuts save. And obviously, with the gameplay being as bad, it's not going to go for us or against us. It's just bad. This guy who's like five foot two. Felipe? Mertens? Dude, Allison is nuts, apparently. Like, that was good build at play. Again, Felipe Anderson in the, in the good spot. Okay, he was off. Wait, no, wait, what? Wait, what just happened? Wait, no, 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 what, what, wait, what? Are you, are you serious? We did everything we could there, and then the game just like, nah, we're gonna give you literally the worst experience possible. End of the first half, and yeah, I mean, we, we haven't even played horribly. Obviously, there, his first goal was good move, fair enough. Penalty was nothing, but like, we've had good chances with, with Anderson. We just have not, unfortunately, done anything with it. Allison's made some nuts saves. But, <laughs> come on, man. Again, that's good That's good run making. That's very good run making. That's something I've noticed from, from Anderson is his run making is quite good. Again, you know, again, we, we had really good chances. We did. Felipe Anderson got into very good spots. His run making was good, but I can't really say anything about his dribbling, obviously, because his dribble, like, if the gameplay is that bad. Literally, Meritans is bad on the ball. I can't, I can't really do anything. I mean, it's a little bit different team. It's definitely a change of pace from the... <laughs> you know, from the classic M Mbappes and Neymars and stuff. Again, I'm, I'm trying to do everything I can in order to review this guy because, you know, he, he looks to have a decent card. He can get it. He should get upgraded to an 86. Most likely won't get anything higher than that. Maybe an 87. Oh my God, dude. He's gotten, I think, three 1v1s, I want to say. Again, like, that, that positioning is great. He makes that run off of Mertens. Oh my god, that's probably a little bit of an iffy pass, I'm not gonna lie. But I mean, I mentioned in the first game, 
as I said, you know, like, obviously on the ball he's not going to feel good, but positioning-wise, he's been great. And his, his passing genuinely felt crisp. It went to the, the correct spots, in my opinion. Okay, Mertens. Felipe Anderson, where do you run? Where do you go? Taliska. Oh! Oh, there we go! Again! Dude, he knows what he's doing. He's very good at those off-the-ball runs. I'm actually enjoying his positioning. Now, again, that's his first goal, where he probably should have had at least two or three by now, right? And so, so like, like I said, we mentioned it before, you definitely need something to upgrade his shooting. But positioning-wise, fantastic. Passing-wise, fantastic. On the ball, you know, again, you kind of need the, the Neymars and the Mbappes in order to feel not bad on the ball because of the gameplay. Oh, good positioning from Mertens, and Felipe finds him. So, again, you know, his, his dribbling isn't, isn't bad, right? We know this. You look at his stats, he's got the lean body type. If you look at his stats, he's not going to feel bad on the ball if you have not complete gar garbage gameplay. Oh. Oh. Felipe, you're killing me with... <laughs> you're killing me with your finishing, man. You get in these great spots. And you just can't put it in the back of the net. He's got himself a goal. I'm not sure about the assists. He's gotten two assists, so he's been involved in all three goals. Uh, but but again, you know, he should have more than a goal. Oh, and there, like I said, his passing is good. He's got the flair, right? He's able to do those types of passes. Like, it seems like his passing is like high 80s and his shooting is low 70s. I don't understand why. And again, you know, he got three assists. He, his positioning is fantastic. Okay, we're going to another game, and we have a pretty standard La Liga team. The only thing I'm looking at right now is going to be his finishing. His positioning is great. His his passing is great. It's, I guess at this point, consistency. Go, 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 go. Felipe. Okay, he's kind of sitting behind. Finesse, God damn it. Again, that one, you know, I don't, anytime there's an AI block, I'm not going to really blame the guy shooting it. Good, Mertens. Look at that pass. That's what I'm saying, man. Oh, and then Lazari can't get it back to him. That's what I'm saying. He He's so good at getting the ball to other players and putting himself in a position to, to you know, succeed. Is the game not going to allow you to do anything? Good pass! Let's go! This guy gets assists like it's nothing. Dude. <laughs> he literally puts it exactly where I want it every time. It's genuinely amazing. Uh, right, again, that was like one of his first bad positioning as well. Oh, oh my god. Come on. I see you, Felipe. Game, are you are you genuinely not going to do the Burba spin? Dude, the game is just not allowing any type of skill move right now. Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, goodness. You know what? I will give that to both of them. That was a great little touch and finish from Florenzi, but god damn also that pass. Should have had 17 goals if it wasn't for garbage ass gameplay, just in general. Felipe Anderson has two assists, only has a 7.5 for whatever reason. I thought he did very, very well. Again, he did. In three games, has one goal, five assists. Again, the first game was, like all of them were bad gameplay, first game was just horrible. And he still got into good positions, right? His positioning was some of the best that I've seen from a player in general. His passing was some of the best that I've seen. And the only really thing that was a little bit off was his shooting. And it's not as if he puts him completely off target. Like, I'm pretty sure he put 
nearly every single shot he had on target. It was the fact that he couldn't put it in the back of the net for whatever reason. There were a few good saves. There are a few times where I could have done, you know, an extra touch or an extra maneuver, a ball roll to get him better faced up towards goal so we could have a, you know, better shot. But there were some shots that if it was Mertens, if it was Gabriel Jesus, if it was Mares or Charlson, if it was anyone I've used in the past, I would expect him to make it, same as Felipe Anderson. And he just did it for whatever reason. He still, you know, he has 84 finishing, but I don't I don't understand why it wasn't going into the back of the net. Now, there's a plethora of left mids, left wings, and, you know, I'm, I'm sure that there are better players that people would want to use. There's obviously Son, there's Neymar, there's these top players. But if you want a good Brazilian left mid whose name is not Neymar, this guy's a good option. I know there's Tyson, but obviously the links for Tyson are going to be even somehow worse than Anderson because at least Anderson plays in Liga Nos who will eventually have some very good players come promos and come come other things as well. In, in that sense, if you have, you know, fun cards, again... 45 50k I, I personally think it's worth it so that is going to do it for this review guys thank you so much for watching this has been dmg peace